Well, it's never been easier for teenagers in Russia to buy booze without being asked for ID. It's fueling underage alcoholism. With no stringent punishments, many store owners turn a blind eye to selling alcohol to minors. Artist Irina Golushko went in with hidden cameras to uncover the scale of the problem. These teenagers just may be Russia's future, and it's looking rather bleak. Oops. The problem is that kids start drinking around 14, 15 years of age regularly. Dependency takes a few years to form, so when they are brought to us, the process has already been formed, and not always we can pull them out of this tough situation. According to NGOs, there are anywhere from 20 to 60,000 teenage alcoholics in the country, and many blame the fact that it's far too easy for a teenager to buy alcohol. Legal drinking age in Russia is 18 years old. So how easy is it for a teenager to get his or her hands on some hard liquor? We're going to follow a couple of enthusiasts from a Russian youth organization into that liquor store right across the street, which is one of the largest supermarkets selling hard alcohol, to find out whether or not they will be successful in getting their hands on a couple of bottles of whiskey. We went in with a hidden camera, but the experiment didn't work the first time around. So no go here. The teenage girls were not sold any alcohol. They were asked for identification. When they didn't provide it, they were refused service. But we're going to go to another place just down the street and see whether they will be able to get some vodka or beer there. Follow us. Sure enough, each of them had no trouble getting a beer from this kiosk. When confronted, this saleswoman got defensive, but didn't seem too phased with breaking the law. How many times did we tell you not to sell alcohol to the underaged? And you still continue to do that? Unfortunately, practically every second kiosk or supermarket sells cigarettes and alcohol to adolescents. But we have to mark positive tendencies too. Russian parliamentarians have been trying to implement stringent punishment for those who sell alcohol and cigarettes to minors. But so far, there has been very little progress. Parents are responsible for their children until they turn 18. And I think if we make parents pay a fine when their kids smoke or drink, it will raise the level of responsibility. Because presently, teenagers do all these things practically with their parents' permission. There are several roots of this problem. Alcohol became an intrinsic part of the Russian culture after World War II. We have a tradition to drink for any reason, and that's a huge problem we need to tackle. Fortunately, many youngsters themselves realize the scope of the problem. They want to relax, to feel grown up, but I don't think if you drink two, three bottles of beer, you automatically become an adult. As things stand, there is little consequence or punishment for kiosk or store owners willing to cash in on miners' health. But it could be the country's future at stake. Irina Galushko, RT, Moscow.